One gram can kill a hundred million people, the deadliest substance on earth. Given a sufficient dose, everything is toxic, theoretically, all substances can be a threat to life, depending solely on the quantity that enters our bodies. Today, we will rank substances based on their lethal doses to determine which one is the deadliest. The lethal dose we are discussing today is based on a 62 kilogram adult. Water is one of the most essential substances in the human body, making up over 70% of its composition. Drinking plenty of water is highly beneficial for the body. However, if someone rapidly consumes 5.6 kilograms of water in a short period, it can lead to water intoxication, also known as dilutional hyponatremia. This occurs when the amount of water ingested far exceeds the amount expelled, causing a drop in plasma osmolarity and an increase in circulating blood volume, which can result in permanent neurological damage or death. Personally, I have a strong penchant for sweets, no sugar, no happiness. However, this is not a healthy habit because sugar can also be lethal. Let's start by understanding a fundamental concept in toxicology, the LD50, which stands for the lethal dose for 50% of the test subjects. LD50 is a common measure of toxicity for harmful or toxic substances, including radiation. For mice, the LD50 of sugar is approximately 29.7 grams per kilogram. This means that a 1,000-gram mouse, which doesn't exist in reality, would have a 50% chance of dying if it consumed 29.7 grams of sugar. Corresponding to LD50 is LD100, the absolute lethal dose, which is the minimum dose or concentration required to cause death in all test animals. Scientists cannot experiment on humans in this manner, but based on toxicology calculations, it would take approximately 1.8 kilograms of sugar in one sitting to kill a 62 kilogram person. In Russia, a nanny forced a two-year-old boy to consume porridge containing 50 grams of salt, which resulted in the child's poisoning and death. If an adult were to ingest 1,000 grams of table salt in one go, it would be fatal. Vitamin C is an essential nutrient for humans. While most organisms can produce it through metabolism, humans cannot. Deficiency in vitamin C can lead to scurvy. However, excessive intake can cause bloating, rashes, excessive stomach acid, urinary system stones, and even hemolysis. A single ingestion exceeding 738 grams can be lethal. Ethanol, also known as alcohol, doesn't exist in 100% purity. The highest purity ethanol is called anhydrous ethanol, with a concentration of around 99.5%. Drinking ethanol straight is different from the alcohol we consume, which contains other components generated during fermentation. Medical data suggests that the normal daily metabolism of alcohol in an adult doesn't exceed 150 grams, and the lethal dose is 496 grams. Ibuprofen, which you are probably familiar with, is a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug NSAID, with analgesic and antipyretic properties. It works by affecting the hypothalamic heat-regulating center to reduce fever. The lethal dose for drugs like ibuprofen is around 40 grams. Slightly more toxic than ibuprofen is hydrochloric acid, which we've studied in chemistry. Hydrochloric acid is a water solution of hydrogen chloride and is corrosive. The lethal dose is approximately 15 grams. Caffeine is a central nervous system stimulant that temporarily wards off drowsiness and restores alertness. It is one of the most widely used psychoactive substances in the world. Concentrated pure caffeine can be fatal in doses as low as 12 grams. However, the caffeine we consume in coffee, tea, soft drinks, and some energy drinks is not a concern for toxicity. 
To reach a lethal reaction, theoretically, you would need to consume 116 cans of Red Bull or 60 cups of Americano coffee in one sitting. For us Earthlings, it is very likely that the stomach has been burst before the poisoning. One substance more toxic than caffeine is sodium thiopental. Sodium thiopental is one of the commonly used drugs for lethal injection. Its purpose is to induce unconsciousness and death, with a lethal minimum dose of 4 grams. Two other drugs commonly used for lethal injections are potassium chloride and pancuronium bromide, also known as pavuon. Pancuronium bromide causes muscle paralysis and respiratory failure, while potassium chloride leads to cardiac arrest. A substance that is fatal in just one gram is heroin. Moving to substances at the milligram level, we have mercury, with a lethal quantity of 500 milligrams, or approximately 0.5 grams. It's important to note that mercury itself is not toxic, it becomes toxic when combined with soluble salts. Speaking of the Israeli Golden Scorpion, Middle Eastern Scorpion, and Palestinian Deathstalker, they refer to the same scorpion species. These scorpions inhabit deserts in the Middle East and North Africa and are known for their extreme toxicity, earning them the title of the world's most venomous scorpion. The lethal dose of their venom is 267 mg, slightly lower in danger than hydrogen cyanide, which requires only 229 mg to kill an adult. Hydrogen cyanide is a liquid at standard conditions, easily diffuses into the air, and can combust. When the concentration of hydrogen cyanide in the air reaches 5.6% to 12.8%, it becomes explosive. Even more toxic than hydrogen cyanide is potassium cyanide, which can kill an adult with just 100 mg. Fugu fish, known for its delicious taste and nutritional richness, is considered the pinnacle of culinary delights. However, the ovaries, liver, kidneys, eyes, and blood of the fugu fish contain highly toxic tetrodotoxin. This substance is a potent alkaloid. Just 21 mg of it can be deadly. Purifying tetrodotoxin is extremely difficult, making it exceptionally expensive. Extracting 1 gram of the toxin requires the ovaries of 20 kg of female fugu fish during their spawning period. Consequently, 1 kg of fugu toxin can be valued at up to 1.4 billion yuan, making it the world's most expensive poison. There is no antidote for tetrodotoxin poisoning. Surviving depends on having life support with a respirator. It's entirely a matter of individual resilience, and life or death hinges on whether the body can naturally eliminate the toxin. Generally, if a person hasn't died within 24 hours, they are considered to have been saved, and there are usually no lasting effects. The most deadly substance on Earth is called H-type toxin. It is estimated that 1 gram of H-type botulinum toxin can kill 100 million people. Theoretically, if all humans could be gathered together, only a small cup of purified H-type botulinum toxin would be needed to wipe out everyone on Earth. Botulinum toxin can temporarily paralyze muscles, which led doctors to discover its extraordinary use in wrinkle elimination. Its effects far surpass any other cosmetics or cosmetic surgery. Many celebrities opt for botulinum toxin injections to remove wrinkles, and the results are immediate. The only drawback is that it can cause a lack of facial expression, as the muscles become stiff and less natural. Why doesn't injecting botulinum toxin for wrinkle removal lead to poisoning? This is because the doses used are extremely tiny, typically kept under 100 units for wrinkle treatment. One unit of botulinum toxin refers to the maximum dose a 20-gram mouse can endure. Therefore, doses under 100 units do not harm the human body. 
The pursuit of youth and beauty is understandable, but poison is still poison. Natural beauty is what you were born with, and you are unique in the world. All right, we will conclude this video here. If you found my video enjoyable, please subscribing to my channel. See you in the next video.